Hi, I'm Eddie Cooper. I'm a golf professional and I run a golf school at the St Pierre Park Hotel Complex on the Channel Island of Guernsey. I've worked with many golfers ranging from the complete beginner to professional golfers. As golfers progress, their love of the game develops at a rapid pace, always challenging their abilities. Working as a coach, the aspect of the game that I get consulted about most regularly is the handicap. It is really important for players to constantly monitor their handicap because if it isn't an accurate reflection of their ability then the game will be unbalanced defeating the whole object of the handicapping system. For this program I will be joined by Jerry Cobb, a good local golfer with a very respectable handicap of 15. Over some time he has been working on improving this but is finding it hard to consistently maintain the good play that he needs to do this and at long last he's come to see me. We will start on the driving range and really examine his swing. He knows he can hit the ball a long way but we're going to work on harnessing that strength to help him reach his full potential. Then we'll try a nine hole teaching session putting the shots into practice and honing up Jerry's skills out on the course. Only after completing this important groundwork will we progress to the magnificent Landcrest Lynx course to play 18 holes in one of the finest locations to be found anywhere. It's here that you will really be able to pick up on all the important course management techniques that are as vital to reducing your handicap as the physical techniques of actually hitting the ball. Golfers are always surprised by the improvements they can make immediately by altering the way they approach the game mentally. Hopefully you'll find many pointers for your own game which will help you towards the ultimate goal of reducing your handicap to as low a figure as possible. Yeah, good shot. A little bit less, but it should be alright. Hi Jerry. Eddie, nice to see you. Yeah, and you. So we've come for a lesson today. Yeah. Right. Why? What's what's going on? Well, I'm I'm a 15 handicapper. I, I really think I should be getting my handicap down a little bit. It's um I, so I that's just name you wanted to get your handicap down. I'd like yeah? to try and do that, right, yeah. Okay. I need some help, I think, because I'm I'm not getting it as far as I should do. I'm still reasonably strong, even at my age. I've, I've got a bit of weight behind it and I ought to hit it further. Right, yeah. And it just doesn't go. And I hit okay. lots of stuff left and then it goes slicing off. With right. everything? Yeah, just about every club, yeah. Right, okay. I mean, so there's obviously something fundamentally wrong somewhere. Okay. All right then. Well, what we'll do, we'll get you to hit some golf balls. Right. right with both your iron and you would, if you're doing right. it with everything. You're not going to stand there, though, are you? Uh, hopefully not, oh, no. Thank goodness no. for that. Unless you're that bad, you're going to Well, you never know. Right, OK. Right, for a, for a 15 handicap, you should be able to hit it in the right direction I should sometimes. be, you're right. But well, okay. we'll see what we can do. All right, let's see it some balls for me. OK. And then we'll take it from there. What are you actually using here? This is an eight iron. Right, that's a club you feel more comfortable with. Well, when I go to the field, which I don't do as often as I should, um, I start with my eight iron normally. OK, okay. sure. That's a practice field, yeah? The not practice the field. field. I should go to the practice field more often, right. Edward, but you know. Well, it went straight, but it didn't go anywhere, did it? Look no, at that. It it's didn't. Absolutely Keep awful. going. Okay. Keep going. Keep hitting balls. You've got to get a bit loosened up as well. Higher and nowhere again. Right, okay. And that's the, the sort of drifting off left one that... Well, keep it in balls. All right. All right. All right. You're tiring me out already. Yeah. Well, you, you will hit balls in this lesson. Don't worry so about that. So can you see what I'm doing already? Yes. Oh, that's the one that creeps off. off. That's awful, yeah. That's right. OK. That one there. Uh... Just one more, then I'm going to get you to hit a wood. Oh, right. Hold when on. When was the last time you had a lesson? Uh, it's a couple of years, to be honest with you. I haven't done it. Well, well that's not going to help. If you no, want to get your handicap down, no, you have to have regular uh, lessons, you know that. I know, but... Right, OK. Well, keep going. Keep okay, the ball balls okay, and okay. then we'll give you a wood. Wood. Yeah. 
Right. That's left and horrible. Okay, just a couple of shots with the wood. You should. What's this? My, my That's driver. Your driver. You all right with right that? Yeah. Okay. This can do all sorts. I can slice this. Yeah, well, the driver, because it's the most difficult club in the bag, is going to exaggerate your fault. Okay, right. so I, I, just, I, 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 have I suspect myself. you are doing the same thing for both your irons and your woods, but I just want to make sure you are doing so that's why I'll right. just, we'll just hit a couple of balls with this okay. and then I'll, uh, I'll pull you to bits. I've found myself bringing my right leg back a bit to try and compensate for slices and then, then all sorts goes on. You, well, you'll see. Right, okay. You'll okay. see. Let's try and get it straight. All right. Then. Right, okay. Good strike. You could still hit it further though. I should do, shouldn't I? Yeah, still going left. Right. Oh Ooh, dear, that's, that's a real horrible one. Yeah, yeah. I do that when there's gorse bushes right in front of me as well, and that's right. really embarrassing. Okay, yeah, well, it, I suppose it is going straight in the bushes. You need to get it over the top. Okay, let's swap places just for a minute. Okay. Just stand yourself just there. Right, I'm watching. All right, let's put a ball in. Right. First things first, you're stood a little bit too far away from the ball. Okay. Right. When you're out reaching for it here, you can't turn as well as you can. Okay? You're going to use your shoulders a bit too much and your arms instead of actually winding the body up. And if you wind your body up, that's going to create your power. Okay? Right. Your natural power is your body weight. And as you so rightly said before, there's plenty of it, so we should be getting a bit more distance Thanks out Thanks for that, Edward. Listen, okay. you're not going to break my new club, are you? No, don't worry about that. Well, don't. New clubs. We well, should be making them a little bit more tidy and clean, keeping hold of them. All right, sorry right? about that. So what we need Might to get you to do... Stool, isn't it? is to stand a little bit closer to the ball so we can hopefully then start to get you to turn. Right. Right. You might start turning a bit more on your own without me having to say do this with your shoulders, your hips, your knees, but we'll come to that later. Okay, we'll see what happens. Next, once you're actually set up, you're set in a better position, you have to be a little bit more central, like your head's moving around a little bit from side to side, okay, you're swaying. Now, that's going to lose power again because if you sway back and don't sway in the same amount you're going to actually stay behind you can hit the ground this is one of the reasons why the shot goes off to the left because you move back and you stay there okay right. i'm exaggerating that to show you and it just pulls it off to the left side right you're doing that more so with the, the driver because you're trying to hit it very hard right so what we need to make sure you do once you set up and you're in a more central position you're stood a little bit closer your head has to stay very central, okay? Like an axis, you need to be able to turn around that. So I'm going to get you to concentrate on keeping your head central. Not still, because if you keep your head still, you won't move. Because you think, right. you've got to stay still and you won't move around, okay? All so right. head has to be central. We'll have a little bit of give in it, okay? But certainly not from side to side right, as you okay. have been doing. If you do that and stay more central with your turn, okay, you will unwind better because you're winding up instead of moving away you're winding up which hopefully again we won't have to do too much work and it might take care of itself you will unwind and follow through and finish right. instead of you moving back and finishing here like Did an I old like yeah like an Did old I? man oh thanks for that right we don't want any of that no we don't okay because you're still in your prime right so we need you to wind up stay in central and unwind through to get to a finish if you do that and actually finish through the ball you will actually see more distance, okay? Because you're using your natural power. It might also help you because you could actually put a little bit more aggression into it. Because you're staying on this back foot, it's restricting how much you go through. So you could actually get a little bit more aggression into the shot, which again will give you more distance. Right. Okay? okay. So we'll have a go with the iron. We'll start off, have a few swings, because you need to get used to this. If you start to feel a bit more comfortable, we'll then bring the, uh, the driver back in and we'll see if there's any difference in direction and length and better quality right. shot okay right, so pressure's on there right yeah so let's see what happens right get yourself set up but just imagine that hole there's a ball we're not going to hit okay. a ball just yet okay so so right. that was where i used to be so a little bit closer than that perhaps yeah where you need to actually get your correct distance try and let the hands hang down below your chin right don't say which one either <laughs> okay? good one just hanging down below the chin just so you've got enough room here to yeah. swing so you've been out there right okay so that's where you got set up to your hole Yep. Right, now their hands are hanging out here, so you actually need to creep we'll in just a little in. bit. Okay. All right. Okay, so if that, so more like that. That's better. Okay. Good. You might feel a bit cramped at yeah, first, but you'll bit. come all right. Right. 
come the swing, I want you to yeah. turn back now and we'll keep your head central. I'll hurt your knee when I come through. No, there. you're not coming through, you're All only right. going to stop at the top, thank okay, you. Sorry. <laughs> right, here we go. So swing up to the top of the back, swing and stop. Good. Feel a bit tight around here? Yeah. Good. Now then, just let that unwind and go through the ball. Follow through, hold that position. Right. Try and come through. Don't worry if you lose your balance forward, so you, right. you topple then. Yeah. Right. As long as your weight's coming forwards here, right. Right. That's where the ball's travelling. That way. Okay. If you're staying behind the ball, right, you're not transferring the weight properly. You're going to lose power. Your direction's going to go all off. So well, all the weight's on the front foot now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of you being back there. Yeah. All right. Okay. You've got to finish through. And even like I say, if you lose your balance, don't worry. As long as it comes towards the target. Okay. Let's just all right. Let's have a so I have another couple of practice there, swings. Okay. That's good. Nice turn, keeping the head central. That's better. Feel your weight going forwards Felt a bit like a more. Golfer, then. Well, Nearly. we'll have to put the ball in and <laughs> yeah, see, no, see what a, happens. That'll make a difference. Have another couple of swings. Hang on. I'll, I'll just make sure you're comfortable. Yeah. Just letting the hands hang down below the chin. The tummy's in the way a bit, though. No, you'll be all right. All just, right. just breathe in. <laughs> Too much to think about. Hang on. Okay. Good. A bit fast. Right. A bit fast. Want to go further if I hit it fast, though? Um, not necessarily. No. Right. So this Have is this is, the big one. this is with a ball now. Yeah. Just concentrate, nice and easy. Hands below the chin, head central, and make a follow through. Much better. Look where you finished there. Much yeah. better. A lot more power on that. Went Direction. very high though. Yeah, it was a little bit high, but. The wind is picking up, it's just yeah. getting into your face a little bit, but there was much better direction. The ball went off much stronger. Concentrate again, head central. Nearly. It's a little bit quick. Same place. A couple more shots. Yeah, well, there you go. Two in the you're same moving place. better. Consistency. Call me Sevy. Well, not quite, because he never hits it in the same place. <laughs> right, hang on. Just thinking about this, the hands again. OK, there. head central, yeah. wind up, unwind, follow through. Good. Again, same direction. See? Yeah. That's better. You could have followed through a little bit more. Put one more right. in. All right. Good. Now, I did lose my balance then, though, a little bit. Yeah, but which way? Forwards. You're good. Right. Well, that's the way I want you to. Right? Good. Just hold Feels it forward. better forwards. already. Yeah, that's good. Right, Jerry. Okay. Just go with one more ball. Right, take your time yeah. getting set up. We'll have one more ball and then we'll hit, go into a dryer again. Take your right. time, make sure your hands are hanging down below your chin for the correct distance. Right. Head central so you can wind up and let that unwind go through. Get your balance going forwards okay. through the ball to the target. Right, let's try that. That's a good swing. You could have gone that way a little bit more. Yeah, I felt going forward was all right, but not far enough. Yeah. How okay, it felt. well, no, that was good. That was good, all right? You're hitting the ball in the right direction now. Right, it's yeah. going more straight. Instead of one going off right and three going off left, yeah. if you're narrowing your hitting area down, yeah. you're going to hit it in the right direction Might every time. Find the fairway then. Well, yeah, exactly. Instead of being in the rough all the time and taking six hours to get around the golf course because you look for your golf ball. So, right. I bet same... you can't believe I'm even at 15, can you? But anyway, there we are. Well, I, I can at the moment, but we'll see what happens here. All right, right? let's see. Thank if you, you start that. improving with this, it's going to make a difference. Let's hope so. Now, Take your time with this because it's more important with the driver. It's a bit more difficult to hit. You've got to make sure you're in a good position and you have to stay central and turn. If you're right. moving around, you've got no margin of error at all. You have to make sure you're staying central. Wind up, unwind, and go through. Don't lean back here. Okay. Go through. All right? right. Have a couple of practice swings. Right. So but pretending it's on that tee, is that the idea? Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. hang on. Have a couple of practice swings. I've got to try and hit the top of that then. I hit the top of that. Good, bit that's fast, sort of but that's not too bad. I want you being All a right. bit more aggressive. You're going through, but again, shift your weight that way. Okay. Let it go. Even if you lose your balance, doesn't matter. Ah, that's well, better. I'm going Good. Forward there. Good. I can really but feel you'll it. get used to holding that balance, okay? Yeah. None again. None right. again. Just watch where your ball position is actually between the feet. With the actual driver, you want it off your left heel. You've got it too far back. Right. Okay, so just shuffle. So shuffle that way a little bit. That's better. Okay. That's better. Okay, same with your, your hands below your chin, head central, wind up. 
Good. Much better. Your weight's going that way. Would right. that have gone straight, do you think? I reckon it would, but we'll, well. see what happens with this ball. Okie doke. Right. Don't right. go jumping all over it because you think you're a bit more confident now, okay? Just okay. a good solid turn. Let it just unwind and go through the ball. Make okay. sure you're a good distance. That good. feels comfortable enough, right. do you think? And just nice and easy. Just make sure you get your weight through and you're not leaning on that back foot. I'm trying. Wish me luck. Oh, bit slicey, but at least it's, it hasn't gone left no. with the vengeance. Yeah, it's better. It's a little bit off to the right, but never mind. You got Maybe that's hands, yeah. though. Well, I no, I felt like I get... Don't worry about that. I don't want you starting thinking about too many things, because you'll get brainwashed. What are you trying then. to say? No, nothing, nothing at all. all right. I think okay. you're intelligent enough to be able to cope with more than one thing. All right, let's just try this. Okay. I'm going to do a bit of hands as well, just to see if it makes a difference. What, what do you mean by your hands? Well, just, Tell I, me. I felt I didn't get, I didn't get through it that way with my hands. You, know, you didn't release. Yeah. Right? That's if you don't is. release, you cut across the ball, it goes off to the right. If you do release that, too much, it'll go left. It's just getting the timing right. Then. That's you feeling a bit more confident and swinging freely and just letting right. it happen. Try not to worry about too much. Lining up, hands below the chin for your distance, the ball position, okay? Your yeah. weight staying central, not moving around. Head central, wind up, and get your actual power going. So That's that, more important than you thinking about this and passing yeah, the Yeah, but if that was a similar swing to the eight iron, why did I not slice the eight iron then, or is that just? Because the actual club face will make the ball spin more. Right, okay. okay because it's got less loft on it. But don't worry about that, okay? Okay, That's not important at the moment. I just want you feeling comfortable with your swing and letting it go. If you're still struggling in three, four balls time, then we can start concentrating on other things. Okay. But at the moment, I just want you, don't overload yourself. Hands below chin, ball position, right, okay? okay? It's important you're not overloading. Head central, wind right. up, I'm trying. unwind. I'm trying, I'm trying, Edward. There's far too many things for you to be thinking about there, but right. if you're adding in more, you're going to struggle with it. Right, here we go. I'm going to do it. Oh, See, you're dear. back here again. Was I? Yeah. Right. Okay. You've got to get off that back foot. So this is the one I've got to do now, then. You've got to slow it down. See what I mean about the driver? A lot more difficult to yeah. control. Yeah. You're swinging it way too quick. Ball position. Come back. OK. A bit more. That's it, good. Really? Right. Nice and easy. Yeah, cause that's off your left heel. Let's put yeah, the club no, down. Yeah. Look, see, you can see there it's lined up just off the left heel. Okay. Right. Instead I of it being you. too far back. Right, Joey, okay. Same again, let's go with one more ball. Right. Right, concentrating on making sure that you've got hands below chin all the time. Keep thinking about that. Don't overdo it. Hands below chin, ball position. Okay. Hands below the chin's giving you the correct distance. Just Head central, wind up, go through the ball. Finish. Okay. It's the US Open on the tee. Come on. It's the one moment I hate, you know, when you get announced. Right, Don't come worry on. about it. I'm not fine. worrying about it. I'm going to hit this straight. Oh, look at that, Edward. What is going on? You're still staying on your back foot, right? And right. you're trying far too hard. Right. Be at ease in the shoulders. Okay. Right? You've got to be relaxed. Right. right? You've got to make sure you're feeling right. I'm comfortable and confident here. Let right. your hands hang, and you're swinging it far too quick, so slow okay. it down. We can slow build your power up in a minute. Okay. Don't worry about that at all. Right. Okay, just nice and easy. Just I'm push it, it forward. You, you don't have to force it. That's much better. Much better tempo. Slight little fade on it, but it's Slight in the right fade. direction. Yeah. There's about another 30, 40 yards on that straight yeah. away. No, I enjoyed that. That was right. good. We'll do it again, but don't go chasing after the right. shot. Nice. This is your power. You wind up. Head central, turning around that, okay? Yeah. Not you trying to beat it into next week. No, but I wanted to go miles. Yeah, but that'll come later. Right. Work right. up into it. This one, just watch. Nice and easy. Just keep it solid. Ride Let your cup. turn Opening be your shot. power. Come on. Good. Straight down the middle. See, much better. Look where you're finishing there. It's much yeah. more controlled. Yeah. Right? That's great. Okay. Now then. Let me just take that off you. What you need to make sure you're now doing is concentrating on that and you've got to keep a method in your head. You've got to make sure you've got your actual distance on the ball, thinking about the hands below the chin. Your ball position for the iron was fine, but you need to make sure you've got the ball position in the correct position off the left here with the driver. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Head central, wind up. Okay? Let that unwind go and let your weight go forwards into the shot. You've got to keep thinking about those and practicing. Now, to help you to get your handicap down, what we need to actually get you to do is actually put this into practice on a golf course, okay? We need to make sure your course management is right. right. You're going to save shots by saving little shots around the greens, okay? So we need to actually make sure we're doing that out on the golf course. So your next lesson, 
right? right. We'll have a nine old tuition. No, um, make it 18 old. Go on, I'll take it on. Well, no, 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 no. We'll have a nine old tuition, then we'll play an 18 old game. All right. In a couple of weeks' time, when you've done enough practice, because you'll be too easy with this at the moment. You haven't done enough well, practice. Well, even with 15 shots, you think? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. Okay? Yeah. Happy? Yep, very good. good. Thank you very much. Right, Jerry. We're here on the eighth hole of our academy course. Yeah. You didn't start it off too well in the um, our little nine-hole tuition from trying to put it into practice out on the golf course. But the last two holes has been better. I feel better, yeah. This is 135 yards. Okay, this hole. Right. It's a tough little hole. We've got water in front, bank behind. Um, I think you'll be alright. I think eight iron might be a good club for That's you. That's what I had out. Actually. Let's try right, that. Good, good. But keep going through your routine. Keep remembering how far away from the ball you are. Okay. Yeah. Making sure that you're in a good position, the ball position's fine, head central, turn, and a follow through. Okay, if you can do all that, you'll start to actually get a bit more confidence. You're doing it on the golf course now, not in the range, so this is the important bit. So if you play first. All right. Okay. That water down right to a bit of a magnet. Isn't no, it? it'll be all right. It's not even, you're hitting the ball far straighter now. You're right. That, that duck's all right, you think? Well, well it, duck it'll safe. soon tell us if it's not. All right. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Okay. You don't have to, just nope. a good solid swing, you don't have to jump all over it. Nice turn, head central. That's about it, isn't it? Let's okay. try that. Come on then. Can feel a hole in one coming on. Good, let's hope so. We get that for the, the actual programme. A, bit a right little again. bit off to the right. You'll be alright there. I'll be able to practice a short game. Yeah, exactly. Well, I can't get my tee, Edward. There we are, we got it. Oh my God. Watch that water, won't you? Which water? There's no water. See, that's it. You want to be not thinking about any oh. water. Positive thinking. If it's all about so. course management. You zone in on water, you're going to hit it there. You forget about the water, concentrate on the flag, then hopefully we can hit it in that right direction and land it near the actual hole itself. Good shot. How do they do that? Oh, it's going in the water. No, no it's no, all right. Just you're a bit lucky. short. That's all right now. Right direction. So a little lobby shot. Somewhere near the flag is the idea. Make sure you stay still on it. I'm trying. Keep your head very, very still. Don't be lifting up. Okay. Came up a bit too early, Jerry. Yeah. We'll play the hole out, right? And then we'll come back to this in a sec, okay? Okay, no problem. A little bit hard. Mm, not bad, Edward. Yeah, but it's come out of there, jumped out a bit. Right, I can do with holding this. I'm a not very good lie. Did you tread on it? Not quite. See, that's you lifting up again, Jerry. Yeah, I've got We're to have to sort that now. out in a second. Yeah. Okie doke. We'll just play the hole out. Unlucky. Yeah, mate. So you're not impressed with my putting stroke, are you, Edward? Your pitching stroke, even. No, no. Well, both of them. Well, the not this in, and then we'll go back to the original situation of your second shot, and we'll go over it again. Right. Okay, then. Right. Okay. I'll give you that one. No, you're too kind. Right. Thank Let's you very go much. back to the actual original position. Okay. Okay. Right, Jerry. That pitch shot you're playing, yeah. we're gonna, you're doing a lot of good things, but the main thing that's actually happening in the swing, you're setting up, you're in a good position, and it's all 
there trying to help the ball. Right. So what actually happens, as you lift, you decelerate. So the ball goes up, it doesn't go forward. You have to stay down so you're actually swinging through and that will help the ball actually go forwards, right? And not just up. Right. Okay, so you actually stay down on it. Right. Don't be lifting up out. I was trying to sort of lob a sand wedge. That's yeah, but so you don't need it in this situation because no, no. the pitching wedge is going to get plenty of clubs. So sand wedge, bunkers, pitching wedge, pitch shots. All right. Your turn now, Jerry. Let's see you play this shot. Concentrating right. on pitch shot, keeping your head still. Right. What club have you got there? I've got my pitching wedge now. Good, okay. Right. Sand wedge is for sand, pitching wedge is for pitching the ball. Okay. Head still and just let your arms swing freely. Let's try that. I'll, come on, it's going to be up there really close. Get the ball going forwards as well as up. Stay down. Better. Better. You need yeah. to be a little bit more positive with it, but that yeah. was better. Good. But we'll have a go on the next hole if we get in that situation again, okay? All right, yep, sounds good. We've arrived at the ninth tee, Jerry. It's quite a tough par for this. Yep. It's reasonably blind, slight dog leg to the right. We're going to go over the top of this tree, and then the whole of the ground swoops around to the right side. There's a little ditch, so thinking about your actual tee shot is very important here, your course management. So there's no point in driver, okay? Right. Three wood's a good club to get you the length, okay, but it doesn't run you into too much trouble. I could almost have my slice back for this then. Well, yeah, but we don't want to go resort no, okay. back to the old bits because no, you're don't. actually you're starting right. to swing quite well, okay. okay? Good shot. That should be just about perfect. Do I have to learn all those funny little twitchy bits before I'll be a golfer? Probably not. You keep going and just okay. concentrate on what you're trying to do. I'm trying. Right then. Get this. Make sure you go through the ball. Yep. That's also perfect, that's good, that's fine. That should just come around off the hill there and be in good position in the middle of the fairway. Good. Jerry, you to play, you're in good position here. Yep. What, just pitching wedge then? Yep, just your pitching wedge. You don't need that sand wedge anymore. No, I know, right. And what, land it on the green, you think? It'll hold it. You, you want to actually, la yeah, it will hold it because it's reasonably soft, this green. Right. You're coming slightly above it, but it's, uh, be positive, you've got to make sure the ball's getting past the flag. Now that's better, right. that's a good swing. Okay, let's okay. try that. Exactly the same as that. That should be okay, it just needs a little, oh nice little hey, bounce. How about that? Yeah, that'll do, that's fine, that's in good position. Local knowledge off the course there, that was good. So, let's see if we can get inside yours finish off with a good pitch shot. Watch how I stay still, Jerry. The head stays still and I'm positive through the shot, not playing this sort of shot, okay? Actually playing through it. Yeah, good shot. That'll do. That's why you do it for a living, I suppose. So, Jerry, we're now onto the last green. You played that hole quite well, actually. Not bad. Yeah, you've done the right sort of things, hitting your tee shot conservatively, being sort of course management there, not getting hold of the driver because this is quite a, a tempting hole to try and knock it on the green, being yeah. a short par four. It'd be nice to hold the putt now. Well, yeah, it? make and finish off with a three. But you've got yourself in reasonable position. You've played a, quite a good little pitch in yeah. and left yourself with about, I don't know. Too 40, far. 40 footer, but two putt, you've made an easy four without trying to do anything, without trying to be the hero and be, play a spectacular drive onto the green. Right. Okay? Yep, understood. Would you like the flag tended? I think I better do, you Okay, right. sure. Right, let's see if we can, if we can get it close. You do like my putting grip, don't you? I knew that. <laughs> it's different, that's I know. for sure. It's the only way I can do it, my friend. Okay. Right, come on, in the onion bag. That's good pace. 
It's just come up just a tad sharp. It's yeah. a good putt from there, though. Well done. Thank you. Do you want to finish off or are you going to mark it? I'll just finish off, shall I? Okay, well, take your time. Thank you, Doug. It's important. These putts are the hardest ones. You should always take your time on these. Don't rush them. They're very easy to miss, especially right. with a grip like that. Thank you for that. You fill me full of confidence. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. You just need this to beat me on this hole now. Uh, that's not important. It is to me. There you go. Well done, Edward. Yeah. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good Thank fun. You. I think you've learnt quite a bit there with the old course management and putting what you've practised on the range and out of the lesson. Yeah. Putting it into actual real time out on the golf course. Yep, I think I have. And I think you're now ready. I think what we should do next is have a, a proper 18 hole game. Right. And for uh, money or not for money? If you want to play for money well, and lose a little bit, then that's much. entirely up to you. I don't feel like losing now. Either. Okay, well, we'll go in the shop and we'll sort out my diary. See we get ducks and all. I'll tell you what we'll do. We've got a great little putting green here. Yeah. Okay, as soon as your grip isn't as good as it could be, we'll work on the putting for five or ten minutes just to sort of get you primed for when we go out on the golf course. All right. Okay? Yeah. We'll try. Jerry, with your putting stroke, you're going to produce a lot of inconsistency with the hands apart here. Yeah. Okay. I know I've just it's taken me ten years to develop that and it won't go. But there we are. I'm yeah, prepared to I listen think, I think learn, in honestly. five minutes I could improve your golf and get your handicap down. Because if you can get the thing in the hole, yeah. right, that's the most important part of it. It doesn't uh, matter if you knock it 300 yards or it goes in the trees. If you can't putt consistently enough, you may as well give up. Okay, well, I'm willing right. to try. But so I'm not promising you I'll change. We've got to get. Well, I think you should do right. because it is going to help. With this, your hands are just wiggling about all over the place. Right? The one thing you don't want is wrist action in the putting stroke. Right. You need a good, smooth pendulum action. Right. The closer you put your hands together, joining them up somehow, whatever feels comfortable. There's no set way of holding it as long as you haven't got your hands apart. Okay. Okay. Good. So with you doing this, you're going to be flicking it so you can hit the ball too hard and it goes rolling off. Right. See, that was too hard because I'd lost control. Okay, and it hit the hole. Wasn't which, bad though, was it? Yeah, but it hit, <laughs> if you had more no, control I know, on I know, it, know, it I might understand. have dropped in. Whereas you're going to lose consistency all the time. You need to make sure that you've actually got a good pendulum stroke. And the way to do that is to cut the wrists out so you bring the hands together. Right. Okay? So instead of your hands being apart like so, I'm going to give you the standard putting grip. Right. Which is the reverse overlap. Okay. Right. When you're hitting a golf ball, you go with an overlap grip with the little finger of the right hand overlaps over the yeah, top. Yeah, I do that. This is a reverse overlap with the forefinger of the left hand just goes across the three fingers of the right hand. That's it. That's good, right? right. Now what that's going to do as well, that left hand sticking down, is give you less less wrist action in the left wrist. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Instead of it being here. Okay. So that's going to give you a much truer stroke. A lot more control to be able to just push it back and roll it forward. So it didn't go in, but there's a lot more control on that. Well, I can okay? see that. So all the time, none of this, just letting the actual ball, just the putter be pushed through and off it rolls. But you're, you're actually, you're feeling the putt with the back of your left hand. Well, yeah, exactly. See, I've, got, I've sort of got used to having all the feeling in my right hand. Yeah, and but I know it's all wrong, you're going to do is flick it. Yeah. All you're going to do is flick it. That's going to lose consistency. Okay? Right. If you keep your hands together, you won't have one hand doing stronger than the other. You'll keep a good, consistent position uh, in understand. the hands, which will just let it roll. I often wondered whether I would have been, whether I should have had one of those big long things and used my right hand to do that. You know, that's well, the sort of feeling well, I've got. In a, yeah, that's in a not. Part. That's not a bad idea if it if it worse gets to the worst. But I think you will improve if you do this. Let's try this. I'm and if you trust me as well, Edward, do I trust you all right. the time? Come on. So that so that's the grip then. That's it. Good. And all that's doing. It's straightening that wrist up. Right. Okay, Can I so carry on using this silly putter that's actually a glorified one iron? If it goes in the hole, you use anything. All right. Okay? That. Can I borrow a billiard cue? <laughs> right. Let's try this. See, not straight bad, away, it? it's gone in the hole. It's not bad there. Let's have another right, bit. So you listen to me. I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening, Edward. And learning. 
Oh, just a bit gay, that one. Hang on. Let's try again. Just keep thinking about the hands, just being together and stroking through, and in it goes. Perfect. Well, I never did. I've changed the line now, there, look. See? And again, three out of four. Three out of four is not now, bad. Now, what you've got to do, though, with this is be confident with it. It's no yeah. use me telling you, you've got to do this if you don't feel comfortable. What you've done there is great, but you have to take this home. You can't practice your putting enough. You stand on the carpet, yeah. right? You do a little bit of practice with it. It's, it's got beams one, on it. It doesn't matter. Trouble. It's the one part of the game, right, that you should always be practicing, whether it's on a green, it's on the home, in the car, on the carpet, anything, right? This is the one thing. You've got to feel yeah. comfortable with it. If you don't feel comfortable with it and you go back to that, then so be it. But three out of four there, that's not a bad start. I will give it a try. Honestly, I will. And if it, if it helps, I'll use it. I, I, I've just got to remember to do that, haven't I? Good. Well, let's go in the shop and sort out that game. OK. OK? Let's do it now. Yeah, well I'm done. I'm ready for you. Yeah. Thanks very much. Good. Get the balls out. <laughs> You now join us on the 14th tee. The match is all square, believe it or not. Jerry is hanging in there. He's received several shots up to now and he is hanging in. And then we've got five holes to play and he's got three shots to play with. All right, Jerry, talk me through how you're going to play this tee shot. Well, I've got my driver out and I'm going to hit it as far as I can, as right. straight as I can. Why have you got your driver out? Tell me. Well, because it goes further with my driver than anything right. else. Well, I we've think. got this hole today, right? So it's our longest hole in the course and it's downwind. Right, it's yeah. so a little bit more loft, so a three wood would be a better club to use to get the ball actually up in the air. The wind will blow it a bit further for you, and it's more accurate because it's easier to use in your driver. So you prefer me to swap clubs and get yeah, something else? Okay, definitely. it's three wood. Yeah, okay. yes, please. Right. The reason I'm wanting Jerry to use a three wood because it is easier to actually hit than a driver. It is going to go a bit further, a bit higher because the wind's going to blow it downwind and hopefully get him in a good position to uh, get onto the fairway. So I must remember to tee this down a bit further as yeah, well, sure. I? All right. Well, wish me luck, Edward. Well, let's hope you get it in the fairway, Jerry. You don't want to waste one of your shots. <laughs> right. Too bad, a little bit right. Yeah, I'll take that there. Yeah. There it's for right. nothing. Tim it's it's play, there for nothing. Right, let's see if I can get this one on the fairway and put a little bit of pressure on you. Yeah, good shot. A little bit left, but it should be all right. Right. Good shot. Okay, we'll let's go and try and find your ball then. <laughs> well, with my shot, I'll be all right there. I think. Yeah, you'll be okay. It's not in the best place, but you'll be all right. Be able to play that, and we'll get you a six net five, which should lose you the hell. Right, well, Jerry. Looks like it's sitting up, doesn't it? Yeah, just I know. Check it's mine. I can't believe that. Is that yours? Yep, certainly is. Yeah, make sure you always check your actual ball. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's certainly mine. Right. What sort of a lie. That's, you've come out here in the rough and you've got a great lie there. It's a bit of luck, Jerry, but make sure you take advantage of it. I'm going to do my best. Okay. Don't you worry. <coughs> Remember your shot you've got. You don't want to mess it up. Don't put me under pressure. That's not fair. You want the money. Okay. Right. Should be alright. Let's hope so. What did you take then? I took a five iron. 
Right, okay. To get myself within sort of eight iron range from the right hand side of the fairway. Right, okay. You just didn't put a particularly good swing on it. You, still, no. you look like you're still a little bit too far away then. But never yeah, mind, it was my right. fault yesterday, wasn't it? Right, right, I'll get that sorted. Okay. Right, as you can see here, I've got a typical Lynx golf shot where I'm right down in a little hollow. I've got a big bank in front of me, right? So I need to actually get the ball up pretty quickly. It's not very flat, so I've got a bit of a tricky shot in front of me. Okay, so let's see what we can do with it. Happy. Yeah, good shot. What did you hit there then, Ed? I hit a six iron. I think it's gone a little bit left. It's come out well, but I used a six iron, Joe, because I couldn't progress it particularly far to get on the green. Six iron, it was lying down a little bit. It's come out good, but I didn't need to take anything long, a three iron, four iron, or even a word, just to actually get it in play. Oh, all right. I thought a good player would have got up from there, though. Well, it was sat down a little bit. Oh, I see. And I want to protect me, uh, my advantage on this low. Oh, all right, if you say so. Thank you. That'll be all right. It's not too bad there. No, I'll take that too. Hit a seven iron, about 160. I thought it was about right, but the bit of breeze behind. Somehow, I've managed to end up just short of the green in the middle of the fairway. I'm not sure how I got there, Jerry. It must have actually took a nice little bounce off that hill. It must have done, so, or, or a cow or something. You get all the luck. Let's capitalise on that. Yeah, nice shot, well done. Just run on a bit. Just Stop. your length of putt. That'll do. Well, that's not too bad, is it? But uh, could have been on the green, it's, it's bit, okay. high. It's a delicate little shot. You need to play this with a little bit of touch. Right, I can feel it's going in, Edward. <laughs> bit strong, it's a good shot though. Just a Six foot too hard, but that's fine. Yeah, just my length up though, don't you think? Yeah. I'll get that. This is a tricky one, Jerry. A little bit of break on it. Well, we need you to miss it, if you don't mind. Mm, too high up there. You yeah, overdid it a bit, didn't you? Mm, yeah, I thought that'd come down a bit more. I'm not giving you that. Right, well, I'm I'll really just mark sorry. it for you and then Thank it's off to you. Right, so this for the hole then, to yep. go one up. It is. Right. Don't try and dawdle it in, eh? Well, I'm not going to go running too far past. It might be a bit of a, a bit of a lag, you never know. Come on. Oh, dear me. I'll give you that. Thank you very much, you're too kind. Right, I thought you might have given this to me. Soon no, I think, you, right. I think you might just struggle with that. Okay. These are those ones that earn lots of money but are very missable. Well done. Oh. Good half. Yeah, nice friendly half. Still all square. So I should use my driver here into the wind, do you think? Yeah, that's a good club because you're playing into the wind again now, so keep it a bit lower, so it's, off you go. It's a good well, club, another shot hole you've got here. I know. It's all right if you hit it straight, isn't it? Yeah, Let's keep well, our fingers crossed. Keep thinking about what you were doing on the range. Right. Right, come on. A bit high. Yeah, I'll yeah. be all right, though. I think so, don't you? Yeah. It's a little bit high. There right, for none again. That's fine. All right. You're, in, you're safe. You're there for nothing with your shot.
Yeah, good shot, Ed. That's all right. A bit right of centre. No, that's fine. It gives me a look in, doesn't it? That's fine. Right, Jerry, what club have you got here? I thought I might just get up with a three wood. Right, OK. Course management states you shouldn't really take that because the ball's a little bit below your feet, right? Yeah. Which will tend to lead to a slice off to the right-hand side. Right. Right, so you've got a shot. Course management said you shouldn't do, but if that's the way you want to play it and you feel comfortable with it, I go for it. Because if the ball's going to go off to the right-hand side, aim accordingly right. and aim slightly left. Aim a bit left, OK. Yeah. And okay. try and get my hands through a bit further, perhaps. Yeah. Right, well, let's see. I just, I just feel reasonably confident about it. Don't blame me. About course it. management does prove true here. No, I'm going to beat you. Come on. OK. What a golf shot. That is a screamer. That's not bad, is it? Right. Is it up, though? It, very much so, yeah. You carry on not listening to me. I'll take that. OK, good. You're there for as one. As long as I hold the putt. Right, after that shot of yours, Jerry, you put me in a little bit of pressure there. I need to pull out a good one. It's right on it, isn't it? Get up. Get up. Mm, Looks good to me. Yeah, hopefully it's the right club. Let's replace my divot, make sure I put it back. I don't want to get into trouble with the green keepers. Right, Jerry, after your approach shot, you're a little bit more inside me there. I've I think you're under pressure then, here. Yeah, I am under pressure. You're there, there for, for net one, and I'm there for two. Yeah. With your shot, I think I'm going to have to maybe hold this. So we'll have to see what happens. Mark your ball, please, thank you. Yeah, I will, don't you worry. Let's give this a quick clean. There we go. Well, best of luck, Edward. Thank you. No problem. All right, let's go. We'll keep rolling. It's a good putt. Oh, I thought I had you then. I did a bit. I thought right, I had you. On. There's a lag coming on. Yeah, I see there's a lag coming on. There's two putts and you'll be fine. Two putts for the lead. Come yeah, on. to go one up. No pressure. No pressure. You're going to need one. Oh, what Ooh, birdie! I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that. Can we believe birdie that? Three. Good shooting. I'll give you that now as well. Oh, you thank you very that. much. Now that's not needed. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Well, that's a bit of pressure on me. One down, Edward. Yeah. Right, Jerry. We arrive on the 18th tee, we're all square. Yeah. I made a nice little birdie at 16 to bring us back to all square. And that and lucky putt on 17. Well, yeah, to make a half, to keep us uh, nicely halved, taking it a friendly game into the 18th oh. hole. So no pressure? No pressure whatsoever. Okay. okay. Straight forward par three down in front of us. So, good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a good shot. Needs to go. And in the bunker. Get up. Oh. Mm, that'll do. Murphy's Law, isn't it? No pressure on you, Jerry. I know, I know. You can still buy the beer, though. Ooh, that needs to, that get needs up to go too. a bit. It's not going to get on, I don't think. Oh, Ooh, just come no. up short. 
Unlucky. Just when it matters to you. All right, Jerry. I know, it's a Tricky bit tough, one. isn't it? Yeah, so, no pressure seeing as I'm 15 feet away. No, you're right. Open yeah. sand wedge, I think, is the yeah, idea, Yeah, you need to it? flop this up. You need to get it up reasonably quickly. Not much roll on it. Right. Flop that up in the air. I'm going to try, Edward. Okay. Here we go. Anywhere within an inch. Come on. Oh, I've bit, gone a bit, bit wide. Bit too hard. I? Yeah, a bit too hard. Fill a hole putts from there, don't yeah, I? Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't think you'll hold any more. Right, we'll not see. After 50. Right, Jerry. I know it's still me, isn't it? It is still you. Did, did I ever need a putt? Yeah, you certainly did. You're outside me. If this doesn't go in, I'll have two for it. So right. Let's see what happens. No pressure. Come on. Can't hold more putts like you hold on the 15th. So. I can. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. Not bad, you know. Not, Not bad. bad. Oh. Okay. Oh. I'll give you that one. Well, I think I'll probably that. give you two from there as well, but we'll see it in, I think. Yeah, okay. Thank Bye. Thank you. A gentle little lag. All I need is to get down in two. I've got down in one. Ooh, no, oh, well done. I'll give out. you that. Well played, Edward. You're going to give me that. You got me in the end. Right, OK. Well done, Cheers. mate. Thank Thanks, you very Jerry. much indeed. That was good fun. Yeah, I thoroughly good enjoyed it. Well, what a finish! Thanks to handicapping, Jerry and I have been able to enjoy a really competitive game. You can take my word for it, after his great play at the 15th, he ran me pretty close. When you arrive at the 18th, all square, everything's to play for, and it doesn't matter how many games you've had in your life, the adrenaline flows and the exhilaration is unbeatable. There's been a lot of tips and information included in this program, which will have given you a lot to think about. Take your time and try things out. Not every technique will suit your game, but if you end up reappraising the aspects of golf that give you problems, then of course your handicap is bound to improve. Also remember that a good golf coach is a great asset. You can't beat regular lessons to help with consistent improvement. It's easy to get into bad habits and the critical eye of an expert will prevent them taking hold. Good luck and if you're ever at the St Pierre Park Hotel, you never know, I might meet you on the fairway.